Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, I'm going to be sewing the two shoulder seams um, with a little bit of entredeau. So I'm going to measure a little piece of entredeau slightly longer than the shoulder seam and cut two pieces since I have two shoulder seams. Put the rest of my entredeau off to the side. Okay, now using my silk pins, I'm gonna pin this to the shoulder seam. And the reason I pin it is the shoulder seam is, so, is cut a little bit on a bias um, and it might stretch um, out of shape. And the entredeau doesn't tend to stretch. So pinning it into place, um, I just have better results. Now I have my sewing machine set for a straight stitch with white thread and I'm gonna sew immediately to the right of the entredeau ladder to tack this entredeau into place. Taking the pins out as I come to them because I don't like to sew over pins. one done. Okay, I need to repeat this for the other shoulder and then what I will do is I will go to the ironing board and I will press that seam toward the inside of the bodice piece. But this will take me a minute to get to to get the other one sewn on um, and get to the ironing board. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been to the ironing board and I have that seam pressed to the inside. Now I have my machine set to a zigzag, um, the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredeau. And what you want to do is each time the needle moves to the right, you want to be going into the very next entredeau hole. And just so that you know, my zigzag length on my machine, I have it set at 2.0 and my stitch length I have set at 0.9. And this works out real well for me. I don't know if sewing machines are all standard or not, but that would be a guide. Just play with your machine until you get to where you zigzag each time it goes into the, either the right side or the left side. It's going in an entredeau hole. There. Okay, now I need to trim this excess batiste away from the back, so I'm gonna use my specialty scissors. And, and since I'm using the specialty scissors, um, I will provide a link down below if you don't have a pair um, and you need to order a pair for yourself because they are just invaluable for trimming entredeau and lace. Um, without cutting the fabric of your garment. Okay, now it's time to pin um, the two back pieces to the garment and sew the entredeau seam toward the back of the garment. So I'm gonna line this up with the outside shoulder seam. Make sure that I have room to do my entredeau seam that I'll be doing to set the sleeve in later on. Let me pin the other side too. Just line it up with the outside armhole and then pin it into place. Okay, now I need to set my machine back to a straight stitch, just a standard straight stitch. Okay, and from the entredeau side, I'm going to sew my first pass of attaching the entredeau with a straight seam. Just sew right to the right of the entredeau ladder without stabbing it. Okay, 
Okay, let me repeat this over here on the other side, and then I will press that entredeau seam toward the back of the garment, but I, um, I'll be back after I've been to the ironing board. Okay, so I've been to the ironing board and I have that seam pressed towards the back of the garment. Now I am set for a zigzag again with the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredeau. And what I'll be doing is I'll be catching the entredeau hole on the right and the folded fabric on the left. There we go. Okay, now once again, I'm gonna use my specialty scissors and trim the excess entredeau and batiste close to the zigzag line. And like I mentioned before, I'll put a link down below for the specialty scissors because they really come in handy and I don't think they sell them at the big box stores. Okay, so I have already done um, the other little shoulder seam. And this makes for very pretty um, entredeau seam shoulders. Let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit. And I've already done the little girl gown too. So um, in the next video, what I'll be doing is I will be creating the fancy little gathered lace neckband piece to put on the two little neckbands. But thank you.